Hello and welcome to this really fun tutorial by Flowmotion. Because today I'm going to show you how you can become invisible. So just follow me into After Effects. And I'm super excited because I wanted to do this tutorial for a long time now. And indeed I have used this method already in some other tutorials without you even noticing. Because the base of this tutorial is a displacement effect. And with that effect I will also show you how you can create stuff like this or like this. Indeed, if you stick with me until the end I will also show you where you can download this 3D photo tool that I use to create those animated images and will guide you through this in a tutorial within the tutorial at the end when we also talk about today's sponsor Envato. Also, all elements that I will use today are from Envato, so you can use the same ones and easily follow along. Link in the description. But first things first, in today's shot we will actually learn three different things. How to become invisible, how to add parts back to the image, like the hair in my example, and as an extra bonus I'm going to show you how to create a chromatic aberration effect that I've also used here. And for those who are new to visual effects, a chromatic aberration is a color offset that creates this color fringing around parts of your image. And it also works perfect as a motion graphics look or simply for the extra touch. Hey, and for all photo and equipment nerds out there, you can do this effect with just your smartphone and nothing else. So let's get started. At first, film yourself acting with your best skills. Then leave the frame and let it roll so you have a clean plate. And before we do anything else, let us have a look at the displacement effect that we are using to understand what we need to create in After Effects. Hey, hey, they have not subscribed. You haven't subscribed yet? Mm. Technically, you're not allowed to watch this. <laughs> okay, I'll make an exception today, but only if you now quickly click on the subscribe button. Yes, now. Okay, here I have this image and I want to distort it in a cool way. So let's apply the displacement map effect. And when we play with the horizontal and vertical displays, we already see something happening. Hmm. But maybe this is not exactly what we want. So how does this work? And why is the effect called displacement map and not just displacement? Hmm. Well, <laughs> this is because for the effect to work best it needs an extra map. And in this map we can define how it will be displaced. So let us create a new solid and call it map. We have two sliders, vertical and horizontal. So left and right and up and down. And for both of them we can simply use luma values to control all of this. Will make sense in one minute, promise. <laughs> Stick with me. I will create a gradient ramp to this layer and simply leave it as it is. In our effect that we have applied to the image let's now choose the map as our map and let's set it to mask and effects as we have applied the gradient effect to it. Now let's play with the sliders. Oh, and we see that white bends it in one direction and black in the other. And wherever it is gray, nothing is happening. And the same applies to up and down. Okay, great. Now let's improve on that. What if we set the black point of our gradient ramp to our horizon? Oh and turn the black point to 50% brightness, so neutral gray. In that way we have a depth map, meaning the closer we are, the brighter our map is. And when we play with the sliders now, <laughs> wow, I did not expect that. Or did I? <laughs> so with just two keyframes we already have an animated scene. And remember, this is just a still image. So now let's add an object to the scene. Or not really to the scene, but to the map. And I will just add this UFO over here and I will of course tint it. And by the way, you don't have to tint it to make it work, as we have already set the effect to luminance. But to be honest, I can see it way better if I'm only looking at black and white values. And with the levels effect I can now adjust how much I want to be black, white and grey. And you guessed it, we can now animate the UFO coming in, warping the background. Whoa! And here are some ideas that come to my mind. 
Sci-Fi, Time Travel, Invisible, Portals, Aliens, Teleportation, Reveals. Hey, and everybody's darling, the multiverse. And now you have the key to unlock all of this. And with that in mind, let's create our invisible effect. So, we have the footage, but how do we get our displacement map? Hmm. It should be a black and white representation of only ourselves, or whatever it is that you have filmed. Roto could be an option, and I would really love to do that, but unfortunately I have no desire. And the client wants to see a first version in about 10 seconds. Oh, okay, let's do this. Let's bring our clean plate into the timeline, place our shot on top and set them to the different blending mode. <sighs> Ready for delivery. Because now everything that is the same in both layers is black and everything that is different, well, is different. So let us pre-comp and tint this. And remember, everything that should not be displaced should be gray. So with the levels effect, we can simply set our black point to gray. Oh, and while we're at it, you could also try the divide blending mode for a similar but different result. Okay, now we have our displacement map. We just need something to displace and that will be once again our background. So as before, we apply the displacement map effect and use the map you have just created and displace the shit out of this. Yeah, and the rest is now up to your likings. But let me show you two workflows. First one for the hair and shirt, because I have pretty dark hair and a pretty dark shirt. So I can simply use a luma key to get rid of the bright parts and that leaves me with some really nice results. Hey, but you can also do it in a different way. For example, in this shot I'm wearing something red, so I can use a color key to key it out. Hey, but we want to keep it and not key it out. Uh, okay, well, simply invert it. Yes, there's actually a preset that does exactly that. So search for invert alpha and when you drag it onto the clip, a few effects get applied automatically and voila, done. And if you don't want to wear a color shirt, you can still wear it for the shooting so you have something for the color key to work and then later on simply use a hue and saturation effect to change it to your desired color. Okay, now, before I'm going to show you the 3D photo tool, let's have a look at the last point of our agenda, adding chromatic aberration. And I want to only have it on the distortion. So let us turn off the effect on the background for now and duplicate the layers three times, because I want to recreate the shot out of its three color channels, red, green and blue, RGB. And I can use the set channels effect for that. So for the red layer, let's turn everything off except the red channel. Now we only see the red channel in this layer. And you guessed it, we do the same for green and blue. Okay, now we have three different colored layers. Let's combine them to our final image. And therefore let's simply add them with the add blending mode. Hey, and this is exactly what happens within your camera. And if the three channels do not align, because maybe you have a cheap lens, you see a chromatic aberration happening. For example, if I slightly move one of the layers. Okay, now let's simply turn the effect back on. And as all the effects are set in the exact same way, hey, they align perfectly. But for our effect to work, we can now simply adjust one of them. And you see that we got some really nice distortion and the famous G -g 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 glitch effect. <laughs> oh. Okay, you have made it to the end of this tutorial, so you have unlocked the tutorial within the tutorial. So let us open the 3D photo tool and you can get this file from Envato. Hey, and an extra tip, if you use my link, you will get 70% off and can not only download that tool, but everything you wish for. And all of this will be yours for a lifetime, hey, even if you end your subscription. And they not only have such amazing tools, but also photos. For example, the one we use today, as well as videos, most of them in 4K, sound effects, as well as 3D assets, such as the UFO we use today. And again, if you use the link in the video description, you will get 70% discount at the checkout. Okay, now that all of you have the photo tool, simply open it up and you can directly drag your photo into the photo source comp. Then jump into comp 2 and mask out the background of your comp. 
not the whole background, but kind of a slope around it. And in the animation comp, you could now already use the three null objects that are there to animate your comp. <laughs> but that is not all. You can now also set depth of field, or even better, at foreground objects. So I will simply place the UFO in the sky, and back in our animation comp, I can now set a bunch of keyframes and call this shot final. Hey, oh, and don't forget to turn on particles and dust. All of this is already pre-made for you in the project. And I would also call those two tutorials today as final. So let me know if this was helpful to you or if I missed something. Hey, and I would also love to see your results. And you know what I would love even more? If you leave a subscription, ring that bell, give me a thumbs up or a like or all of that. And once you have done that, I wish you a lot of fun becoming invisible in After Effects. <laughs>